Now the Audi Q7 has been one of the most desirable and luxurious SUVs in the Indian market and in its latest avatar it's hit the gym lost more than 300 kgs and has become sharper than ever Is there more to this SUV than just refreshed looks let's find out The new Audi Q7 has lost a little more than 300 kg of weight Now it looks smaller than what you remember it as. It is now 37 mm shorter in length, 15 mm narrower in width and 3 mm lower in height. But it's more edgy now than just one big rounded SUV. You now get a flat bonnet and a big single frame grille. It also gets the classy yet modern matrix LED headlights. The one that we drove was powered by a 3 liter V6 diesel engine that comes with 8 speed automatic transmission. It does have quattro on it like all Audi cars and produces 245 bhp of power and close to 600 newton meters of torque. It is a mile muncher on the highways and is also a capable off-roader. can handle any terrain and you won't be left wanting for more ever to drive the new audi q7 is comfortable and stable it is one of the best suvs money can buy for its sheer driving experience the car comes loaded with a lot of bells and whistles as well the cabin is more luxurious than its predecessor and the front dashboard gets a completely new look that's really modern there is also audi's mmi panel on board and the virtual cockpit that was first seen on the audi tt makes its way to the q7 the car seats are comfortable and give both the driver and its passengers a sense of calmness and security Audi is known for its trickle down philosophy and that's the reason why you get things like virtual cockpit and you know Audi's park assist on the new Q7 and they are definitely a value add if you're driving such a big SUV especially on Indian roads Apart from the virtual cockpit on the Q7 what really was the most satisfying piece of technology was that this massive SUV can park itself Audi Pilot Parking Assist helps the Q7 park on its own in tight spaces. So the Q7 can parallel and perpendicular park on its own now. Well, it is not completely autonomous. The driver has to work on the gear shifts, brake and the accelerator pedal. but the car maneuvers with precision while parking itself and in a country like india you don't want a car like this to get a scratch while parking in tight spots what we didn't like on the q7 is that though it is a 7 seater suv it does come with a spare wheel that will make you miss out on one seat in the last row At the end of the day the new Q7 is reliable, comfortable, is loaded with technology and of course can handle any terrain. And if you're wondering that is it worth its price? We would say only one thing. If you have one of those, you'll always be arriving in style.